I wouldn't care. I just want the freaking Halo, and I don't want to farm this crap ever again. I, I'm done. I'm not farming this ever again. I, I'm not farming this. I'm done, bro. After that day of opening up 16 common boxes, right? I, uh, I took my time and went to basically go farm some more about like at least five out of seven boxes. I opened those up and I didn't basically pull anything. So about like at least four days later, I was kind of in the mood to basically pull a couple of boxes. So I went back to pretty much farming. And until this day, I had the most insane RNG. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh my god! Oh. I'm never gonna get hit. I'm done. I'm not farming this ever again. <laughs> Yo, guys! What is up, it's your boy Rito here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So, anyways, my boys, in this video, right? I'm gonna be going over my cosmetics, my items that I pretty much I have with buffs. I have two uncommons and I have two commons, and let's go over them. But let me just say, I opened a 30 to 35 box and I finally pulled my first, my first item from uncommon, which I had really bad RNG. And the first item I ever pulled was the blazing blue fire ring halo, and I was really unexpected to basically pull that. It has decreased cooldown by 0.6%. It's not better than the uh, the fire halo, which the fiery halo, the red one, has uh, decreased cooldown by 1%. But this one is like you slice it in half and you get a 0.6%. But I'm basically grateful to basically pull it because you pull anything from pretty much uncommon. So anyways, let me go over my uh, other stuff. Let's start off with the black ribbon straw broom hat. <clears throat> this has decreased manual fishing wait time by 5% so when you just basically fishing right when you just fish <clears throat> You pretty much just decrease your uh, cooldown just basic regular fishing really helpful to like whoever likes fishing But I don't really fish that often. I like to basically like you know fight stuff in the actual fish So next we got the uh, the sand the sand shades which has the uh, increased chance to catch a high gray fish by 5% so I think I think that if you have a like tier four fishing pole, I think you have a, you have a higher chance to basically catch like a tier a tier five fish or a tier six something something that's basically like higher than your fishing pole if you're pretty much you're lucky enough. So anyways, let me go to the blazing blue fiery halo for a bit, right? Before I go to the uh, the seaside hat. The blazing, the blazing blue fire ring halo, right? I do want to say it's like the top five best item you could basically get your hands on for the uh, the hat, because uh, what you may call it. I think the number one is gonna have to basically be the uh, increase increased damage by one percent, and then there's like another decrease damage, and then under under that, then I think it's gonna be decreased cooldown, the decreased cooldown by one percent, and increase uh, by by a uh, 0.6% and then I think is like one power or two power is gonna be like fifth that's pretty much what I think but otherwise I'm happy I got the halo so then I have the uh, the seaside hat decrease auto fishing wait time by 10% so when you go afk fishing right it decrease it decrease the uh, it decrease your uh, what you call it, your waiting time so let me just say I have three things that makes me want to go fishing and the other one is PvE. It's so weird how they've given me all this fishing stuff to where like <clears throat> this would be helpful for like other players like other players like that basically like to go fishing but pulling pulling this stuff is really hard like it, it's not really worth farming because it, it's hard to basically pull anything from comments and uh, pretty much comments to uh, uncommon so Farming this stuff is not really, it's not really worth it. 
until they make the drops basically better because pulling like pulling a box from a monster or basically trying to RNG the item it's it is not easy as it is so anyways let me show you about this uh halo right look look on my bar on my invisible right i'm gonna basically i'm gonna remove my uh i'm gonna remove my uh halo right i'm not gonna remove my halo all right so anyways look on my uh invisible thing i will remove my halo <clears throat> so if you look at my visible thing right i have 24 seconds when i jump invisible right now look at it real closely Look at it real close, right? When I jump invisible without my halo, it's like 24 seconds, but it's like it stays on 24 just by pretty much a bit. But uh, when I put it on and when I jump invisible, the next time when it comes back on, it's like boom, it goes to 23 seconds. It's just a slightly little bit difference. You can't really tell, but it's just a little bit you can basically tell. So I'm going to basically jump invisible, and this time it's going to go to like 23 a little bit immediately. But uh, with this, with this Halo, with this Halo, I could basically jump into my skills more, uh, more frequently, like just by a little bit. It's not really, it doesn't, it doesn't really do much as a difference. But I could jump into my skills just by pretty much a bit. I wish I did got the Halo. But let me show you what really pissed me off, right? Whenever, whenever I have animation stuff on my character, when I have animation stuff, when I jump invisible. It makes it makes all my animation stuff that I basically have it disappears it for some reason. In order to basically put it back, I gotta basically like put it back on and put it put it on and put it off. But but like whenever whenever I have my heel on my head, when I jump invisible one time, it disappears like off my head. I still have it on. It just disappears and it's like I have nothing on my head at all. But pretty much, I'm already used. I'm already used to it. Basically, like not wearing no hats on my head so i'm already used to it but i wish they could basically fix that that also happens with different other characters <sighs> so anyways so anyways my boys right <clears throat> other than that this stuff is not really worth farming at the moment i have a friend that basically have one of the best rngs ever and let me just say that they opened up 10 boxes and they pulled the blazing blue fire ring halo which was insane rng so anyways other than that let me show you what i've been working with let me show you let me show you what i've been working with so anyways i have 4.5 mil gold right i have 4.5 mil gold then um let me go let me go to this dude over here <clears throat> so then not only that i've been farming like there's no tomorrow and i have over 10,000 ectoplasma. No wait, scratch that. I have 11,000 ectoplasma, which equals to 11 million gold. And then, not only that, I also have um, I also have um, four 4,000 emeralds. <clears throat> Let me show you right there. I got 4,000 emeralds, which pretty much equal to uh, four million gold. Uh, let me see. Let's just go with 3.5 mil. So anyways, right? I'm planning on using all this stuff to basically like upgrade my whole tight gear to a uh, Frax 9 or whatever is basically come. There's going to be a uh, Frax 9 that's going to basically come on December the 6th or whatever they basically doing. Or they probably doing a new jewelry set or Frax 9. I really want Frax 9 and I'm pretty much, I'm already ready for the thing. And I've been farming like there's, uh, there's no freaking tomorrow. So my final thoughts are, there is like no point of basically farming this. So like the moment when I got the stuff I really needed, like when I got my fire, when I got my fiery halo, I didn't need to farm this stuff no more. There's no point of farming this once you got the stuff you pretty much you really needed. But other than that, the dry rates is basically bad. Picking items from the box is basically bad. There's no point of basic farming this until they basically fix the drop rate. But I think they fixed the drop rate and that'd be, that'd be way too easy to get the stuff we truly needed. And uh, pretty much, yeah, I've been through hell to basically get what I really wanted. Yeah, so anyways, my boys, I'm just trying to basically get ready for this the uh, December the 16th because there's going to be three new dungeons and uh, this and that. So anyways, enjoy your day.